the blue corner. He's five feet nine inches tall. He is one of the most experienced fighters on the planet. He has fought in King of the Cage in California, the IDC in Venezuela, Super Raw in Hawaii, and tonight he is fighting right here in the ECI Heavyweight Championship. Please welcome the Extreme Combat International Heavyweight Champion, Jonathan Ayi. That's actually the first camp that we were training for when I first met him. When I first met Ivy and and um, Jelly Roll and and several of the other guys, that was actually the only camp that he really trained for eight weeks straight, and um, uh, came into camp probably the best shape of his life. He was in, he was also lifting heavy heavy uh, weight, so he had a lot of muscle, but he was about two I would say about 240. You know, I agreed sometime in the camp that I would go with him and corner his fight in in Texas in Corpus Christi and. Um, so we get there. This arena is beautiful, and it's all for Robert Vargas. Or it was—it's his hometown. It, you know, he's the Texas um, favorite. And every everywhere you turn around, it's Vargas, Vargas, Vargas. I guess that's a little nerve-wracking when that happens. And Vargas is about a six foot four, six foot five, very muscular, very fit, um, athletic guy. This guy just keeps running away from Ivy. Not wanting to, not wanting to engage at all with Ivy, and and, um, and but he's again, he's taller. He's six foot five. Ivy's probably five, eight or nine. Vargas was able to just touch him with a jab, but with those MMA gloves, especially the new ones, they they can be sharp. And uh, Ivy never took care of his any of his eyes. I don't think he ever got any stitches ever in his career. Um, and so he just let it heal up, which causes more scar tissue. So they opened up, they opened up pretty easily in that fight. They did almost immediately he gets hit with a jab and his eye gets cut open and but still and then and then Ivy was on the hunt the whole time and uh, was relentless in his his hunt but the guy was moving um, pretty heavy Ivy would stand he, he's bleeding everywhere in this like all over the cage all over his body his blood his body is red from blood and he's pounding his chest saying yelling that the guy fight me you know fight me The guy still would never engage, but Ivy would still every now and again get a chance to, you know, drop some, you know, good shots on him. But the guy was moving so much that he never caught him clean. A um, couple of times, Ivy would move over to the cage where they were, where his corner were, was, and um, one time you could hear him tell the corner that he's gonna kick. He said, "I'm gonna kick his ass, and then I'm gonna come back and kick every one of your asses." And this was in the middle of the fight. And um, they kept they kept going. Anyways, I felt like he um, he did enough to win because he was the one pressing. Um, he was the one engaging, um, setting the pace. He was in control of the ring. Um, the, obviously, if it was a if it was a jabbing contest, I, I think Vargas wins. But in the whole contest, Ivy won, I believe. Well, when it came to time for the um, uh, for the decision, they he lost the unanimous decision to. Vargas. Well, it's in his hometown. The entire crowd, was, there was probably 4,000 people there in that crowd. They all booed, um, booed that decision. And uh, of course, then Ivy went and uh, uh, we walked out of the arena. At, when, when, when you walk out of the arena, you're, you walk out of there and you walk in the back behind the big bleachers. There was the, the entire crowd made their way up to the top of the bleachers and over overhanging and they were all chanting Ivy's name so they knew who they knew who won this was in Vargas's hometown and then so we're back in the back Ivy's upset um, his eyes his eye looks like hamburger you know because the, the, the from the jabs and um, next thing we know we have a line of kids lined up like the parents and the, they brought their kids back to they wanted to meet Ivy and I was you know more business and I was like no no we're not we're not gonna you know do that and um, Ivy insisted so he actually took pictures with all those kids um, and their you know their families that he took he probably took 30 minutes of 
of the time to take pictures with everybody. We went off to the doctors and he got stitched. He got stitched up for his first time, probably first time ever. I made him get stitched up. Took him to the the doc. I made the doctor take a, take us to the his office at like two in the morning, and he got stitched up. Interesting, interesting fight that was.